think? Can you hear me clear? Mm -hmm. All right. So, so the question is about the division in Islam, with the, the way that people teach certain Muslims different, and they're all supposed to be Muslims. Yeah. Now, obviously, it's racism, bro. It's racism. Long and short of it, fam. Why though? I'm trying to understand why. Why is there racism? Yeah. So, what, you, you want me to go through world history, fam? No, because you see, me, you see me, cool. You see when I went into another Muslim, yeah? You see from you're a Muslim, I take you in a whole different way, automatically. The you see what you're doing? You see what you're doing with this idea that because Muslim, you're both Muslim. That means racism should go out the window. It's something you've always said when we talk about religion, yeah? And you talk about separating the religion from the culture, innit? You talk about how people, you know, always try to pin all these bad things that certain Muslims do on the religion, innit? And you say that wrong. These people that use Quran, use Islam to defend some heinous acts, you said it, innit? Like, that's nonsense, innit? You've got to separate that. That's not what the religion teaches. That's how they... That's how they move. That's how they, yeah, I've always said that, yeah. And it seems you, you can see very clearly what's going on. Yeah. But here, somehow you think, because they have the religion, they can't do it wrong. On this one here, you think, oh, this is a, no, they should be smarter than that. Of course, what do you mean? They could never be. No, there's no way. Even though history, history at every turn tells you the opposite, fam. You know what so, is the bro? That's why I said it's naive, fam, because you're, you're saying it's naive. You're saying that, raw man's a Muslim, he's a Muslim, man should just forget about the race. You're saying that's naive, fam, because that's not how anything works. Yeah, but brother, any you, you got to remember, I've seen situations where this person's killed his friend, that person's killed his friend, and they've salamed and hugged their eye in the masjid, and, and, and that was that. I've never seen shit like that. Did, did you think that? But it's the no. same with the extremism, fam. You, you will see people change and do different things that you would have never thought they were done on some extremist tenant. It's the same principle. Just link it to what I just said there. Look at the extremist logic you put, and you say people have this religion, but they do these things, and they say religion justifies it, but you and I both know that the religion don't justify it. That's just some shit that's in you. You understand? And you, you've been trying to believe that. You've been trying to believe that. Yeah, but check it out, though, yeah. You see the difference is this and obviously the reason I have the question is Islam has pillars in it, yeah? I'm not saying human beings are perfect. Islam has pillars. What is a brother? For me to say salam alaikum to you, what makes you a brother? What makes you a brother to me? A brother is somebody that wants for you what they want for themselves. Right? The moment that's not the case, man's not a Muslim, bro. My brother, I just give you an example of people that blow up children. You understand? That blow up children and that raw that's that Allah wanted me to do that furthermore and I'm gonna go to Zanna because I blew up the kids then. you understand what I'm saying I'm just Those pointing out I'm pointing out an extreme logic that isn't backed by your religion according to you that people from your religion actually say the religion justifies me to do and you yourself have said you've got to separate this religion from this cultural behavior or this particular person you've got to separate them you say it in that regard but in this regard, you're somehow coming to the conclusion that that doesn't because, make sense. Yeah, but I'll tell you why. Separating it. How can they separate it from? It doesn't make sense. It's the same I'll thing, from. I'll tell you why. Because that's one extreme to the other, right? The loss of innocent lives, is, no matter what the situation is, is something that will never be stamped. Yeah, so check it out. I'm talking about the day-to-day -day person living in the community as a Muslim, being racist to another Muslim. Is that mentality I'm trying to understand. You see the people in the far left doing the do it doing that other stuff right that's a that's two that's two separate things and i've always said to you i don't know what those guys are on they just making it up they just whatever else they go that's but i'm talking about the day-to-day -day person the person in the community the person in the community that, that, that shuns other other people like i'm talking about him or her or they or whoever you know what i'm saying my brother on this same point yeah consider christianity now whether you're not a christian it's irrelevant because they're done have that same sincere faith that you do of Islam, isn't it? Yeah, and you know, it's, it's a big religion. Abraham, if, if you basically believe in the same God, we have of many similarities. Christians push slavery on the world, fam. Now, 
That's directly against Christianity. What do you mean? Christians push slavery on the world. The, the, the rulers of the, of the European royalties that, that said slavery is good and this is what we're going to do to make money, they're Christians. Understand? The kings and the queens of Europe are Christians, fam. Yeah? They are ruling these lands that are saying we're going to go and conquer and enslave. And hey, bro. Mass. Mass. Hey, no, no, this is the point, though. So, these people have the religion, yeah, that teaches peace and all these type of things. Slavery is bad, inherently, right? But they still have a national, nationwide practice of enslaving and conquering and killing and raping and pillaging. This is just the point that you can have the religion or think you have the religion and still have a fucked up everyday mentality. Every day yeah. you think like that. Yeah. The point I'm making, yeah. I don't see why you see how simply a Muslim can still be racist. Bro. This has always been the case. Bro. I don't understand how you can't see how simply a good Muslim and still be fully racist. Bro. It's when you said we're in so, like, oh, certain mosques go in there, they treat man different. To me, I'm looking at you like, Rob, how are you surprised, fam? I'm not Muslim. I've never stepped in a mosque, fam. I have no doubt that's the case because I live in the world and I understand how things work, fam. So I, I've never yeah. stepped in a mosque. No doubt that's the case. I'll get funny looks going in, even into my brethren's mosque where I know a few of these brethren go in there. I'm not, what do you mean? Of, of course. Do I not know how the world works, fam? But you got, no, obviously, look, for me, yeah, I've got Sikh friends, in friends, Pakistan, friends, Bangladesh, friends, Afghanistan, I've like, um, you know, I've got a real good bunch of friends from the Asian community, right? And so the same with the black community in the way. Perhaps the Uma, Uma is like, the, you know, the gathering or the groups I've been part of. That's never been a thing. Remember, I was in jail, burned off. For all them 11 years, the dean, the, the whole, no matter what you was, English, Bangladeshi, whatever, Chinese, whatever you was, the brothers had you. That's what I grew up in, in the camp. The, so, so you you could you can you can hit the dispersal right now with nothing but your boxes, bro. You see, just as a Muslim, you hit the wing. Man's gonna put clothes in your back and put food on the table. So guess what? That's how for eleven years of my life, that's how the dean is presented. I'm not saying there's not there there, hasn't, there there wasn't situations or whatever. Not, but that's how it's presented. So obviously, naturally, when I come on road and this race, I, I feel ostracized in a in a mass street of all places. I'm gonna it's gonna be a surprise to me. Like, what's going on there? I get you, but I still think it's naive, fam. So I'm from East London, fam. Forest, yeah, you got fucking Green Street up the road. So, they're multicultural, innit? They're my long term bedrooms, uh, uh, Muslims, you know what I mean? Different shades, different nationalities. We all know that we all get along and we know each other's parents and da 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 da. That don't change my understanding of the world, fam, is what I'm saying. Now, that just because I know in my ends, the thing run a certain way and people do with each other a certain way. That don't mean that I don't understand in other communities things are seen as differently from. I cannot be ignorant of that simple fact from. Yes. Yeah. We, we know the Arab world has racism from. We know the Asian world has racism from. And then you're going to ask me why it's different because you're black. Because there's racism from. We know. What do you mean? Is there racism? you go. Yeah, mad thing cool coming in it. I'm hearing you. I'm just saying now, we just need to things in it. This is why I just, I just feel like we just. Kai, I know you know. As you're saying the thing, I'm like, your man's saying to me, How, why is it like that? I'm like, bro, bro, it just makes you not understand this. So now you're making me come on the phone and say something like I'm inflammatory. That's just clear common sense to anybody that can see how the world works, man. Here's the thing about knowledge, bro, yeah? Knowledge is acquired then verified, right? That's how knowledge works, right? So I might know something. I might know. It doesn't stop me from asking the question of what I think I already know because that's how you verify the knowledge. So the people that don't try to verify the knowledge or think they already know it and they don't ask no questions, they're the people that's corrupt in the world right now. <laughs> them diplomats there, fam. Them diplomats there, you, you know. Nah, man, I'm not having it, fam. We need to start from a point of pure honesty. So if you want to ask the question, say what you was observed as the truth, the clear-cut truth, and then question is that observation. Don't suggest that I don't know, because you, that's how you came in. Like, I don't get it, fam. And that's just lying. That's just deception, because you do get it, fam. Big man thinks, not pretending. Here's the thing about it. Like, this is what I think is going on. Am I wrong? 
Don't say I don't know nothing, because you know something, yeah. innit? Yeah, but here's, 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 <laughs> here's the yeah. thing, bro. The point I'm making to you is this. I've learned the, the, strong, the most powerful man in the world is the man that's underestimated, right? The underestimated person is the person who 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 willing to always absorb and learn more than, than say more than say what they know. That's the twenty twenty one. That's my new hat that I'm wearing. Even things that I know, I still want verification. I still want to ask and get added knowledge on it. I'm not gonna just leave it. I already know what my opinion is because my opinion could be wrong, bro. My opinion could be wrong. Somebody could come on here and tell me something I don't know. Well, I've heard this theory before. My thing is, yeah, you know the way to get smarter really quick, yeah, is it's like gym in it almost. You just always max out. Always go 100 with your brain. Meaning, always go to the key, most obvious, base, factual, undeniable truth. And then talk from there, fam. If we, if we start from a point of evading... Uh, yeah, obvious, we start from the point of evading... Obvious, that's what we're going to build on, isn't it? We're going to build of avoiding obvious observations. So we've got to start from the... Like, no one oh, to say... That's so let me ask you a question then. Sorry to cut you. Let me ask you a question before you go. You practice, you say obviously you're into African spirituality, right? Yeah, yeah. What is the principles that govern that? That makes it... I'm not saying it's going to make it perfect because nothing's perfect, but what are the principles that govern that on the congregational sort of element of it? Like, how did you... You got into it, whatever. What is it about the African spirituality that... You, it's pretty you is prescribed to you perhaps than other with them denominations of religion. So boom, you see me, yeah, I've always been a scientific guy for maths and science. I always loved them in school, just loved them. Like if I did good, it was just kind of by like because it was easy, not because I've tried. I love the physics to this day. You know, the gravity, all these things, I'll kill it, I'll just break down the whole thing. So I've always been into spirituality trying to understand because I like knowing things. So it weren't really, I, didn't, I don't like the concept of faith. The idea of just believing in something, just for, to, to believe. Even the word believe, knowing something. This has always been important to me innately. So when I've gone through all the religions, trying to understand the root of it all, you're not going to like it, but firstly, the root of it all is the African spirituality. So I found that. But still, that don't make me like African spirituality. I knew that for a while. And I was like, I still think it's a lot of fairy tales and stuff. But when I broke, when I finally, you know, study, 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 I found the understanding of it all. It's science. I was like, oh, my God. I'm like, God was trying to make me learn this thing from, this is what I was already, I didn't know. It's all science. This is what, it's all based on science. The truth about observable reality. The, the, the nature of reality. That is it's all it's about. It's not all based on science, though. That's an opinion. That's an opinion. I'll fight for you. No, that is, that, that's the misinterpretation. The last 5,000 years... Chinese whispers. A man telling a next man what a next man told him, what a next man told him, when a next man told him, it corrupts the message. It's based on science. It all started with the study of plants. And we see. We came to these understandings. Metaphors we use to excuse science. There's no faith Bro. required. No faith Bro. required. No even in anything that doesn't. Okay, hear what I'm the, saying to you. But hear what I'm saying to you. That's what makes Islam different. It's not based on. Just to hear me out, bro. Bro, you use science. I can use a small example like how a baby forms in the womb and in the end. This was written in the Quran before the scientists said it. Yeah, but, but the African thing, we had deeper science. We knew how the brain works. <laughs> we knew the side of the brain works. We understood astronomy. We understood gravity. We understood concepts. We understood quantum concepts. You understand? Oh, bro, the amount of science. I mean, like I say, this is how the human brain works, left and right. They couldn't figure that out until less than 100 years ago, yeah, because you need machines to do it. To this day, no one knows how they knew what they knew, and they could only prove what they knew at the time was true recently. They could only prove it. Up until then, it was like, oh, that's what they say. So, but they knew it. They understand how duplicated it is. It works in two hemispheres. They built their whole culture around how the human mind functions. Understand how deep that is. So you talk oh, about you know science. Say that again. I said obviously that science perspective, that our perspective is lovely. Everyone's entitled to it. <laughs> that, it's really not a perspective. It literally is. It's a perspective, though, bro. It's opinion. What you're saying to me right now is opinions. That is a science. No, it's like it's like it's like biology is a science. That's what the science is. Uh, 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 conclusions drawn on the observable facts. So you observe things, yeah, 
and you measure, uh, and you describe what you observe, and then you base theories based on the observations, and this is all science is, and that's all African spirituality originally was. It was all just science. Got misconceived by many men, many, many, many men, remixing it and remixing it again. But essentially, it's just a science, a description of the nature of reality. Even when we say the term spirit, what they're talking about is the fundamental science of the atom. But Africans say, no, the, the smallest particle, the, the most finest thing you can find is spirit. Everything is made of spirit. It's a science. You say that's a perception. No, this is literally how we describe the world. Science is just observing. Yeah, but if, 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 what you observe. How can I put it? Let me, try not to, let me try not to go down the conventional routes of counter arguments. <laughs> let, let me choose another route. Now, oh, you're saying... Yeah. Now, I'm not going to go down the conventional route. You're saying... You're saying um, it's um, it's all based on science, religion, and everything is based on science. It definitely isn't. Um, I said African spirituality. African spirituality is based on science. Cool. Now let me tell you this: if you wanted to be holding it, that's the case. Then why do you just be a scientist then? Yeah, my argument is I am by practicing African spirituality. That's, that's the point. We all. <laughs> oh, oh, you're a scientist. Cool. Listen, you know what? I'm, I'm, that is what we were. That's why we all studied the stars. That's why everything fucking aligned with stars and fucking charts and shit. It's always based on scientific understanding of things. Listen, you know, you know, you know, you know me. You know I've been around. You know I've been. You know me. I will never argue with somebody. Somebody wants to believe what he wants to believe. You know me. I'm always like, okay, cool, crack on. But like, I will say this to you. Like, obviously, you're talking about Af African spirituality. We're gonna have another day where we're gonna break that African spirituality and talk about it because. Not in a way, bro. I feel like when I hear people from the Western part of the world that perhaps never experienced Africa properly say African spirituality, I just always think you don't even know what you're talking about. No offense to anybody. That's all oh, I think. I, know exactly. like, I just I know think exactly you what... any someone being part of the culture and whatever, no, you start saying African spirituality, I just think whatever. It just goes through. You know what I'm saying? So we'll, we'll have a conversation another day because bro, I grew up in a minute. That African spirituality, that taking leaves. To, to, to heal. I never went to a pharmacy when I was growing up. I never, so I can tell you, I can say a lot of stuff about that, but we'll get into that another time when it's a bit more, when, when, we're, when we're not talking about, you know, religion specifically. And then you can tell me what your understanding is, and I'm sure this, may, there's things I'm going to tell you about that that make me not want to associate because man come from it. Like, what we have man, man, man literally comes from it. What, yeah, what, what we have now in Africa, I remember I'm African, I'm born out there. I, I, I've heard all the stories, I know how it's seen and how it's lived now, yeah? Like, my, my tribe's right royalty, so there's all sorts of, you know, it's weird. We're supposed to be Christian, but then we practice traditional beliefs. It's, it don't even make sense. I'm always trying to say that, how, how are we Christian and practice these traditional beliefs as well? I don't make no sense. But the point I'm trying to make is what we've got now in Africa is a Western idea. It's like, it's like fucking internalized racism. In Africa, we have Africans practicing a Western idea of their culture. We was taught our thing was black, and we because the, the real thing is the Christian, and we basically believe that. And now we bro, were... man, that's not the case, bro, man. That's not the case. I think you're mixing, you're coloring too. You're, you know what you're doing? You're blending two lines together, and you can't do that. You're talking about two separate things, literally. You're not talking about the same thing. I'm talking about African spirituality as you're describing it now. What's practiced in Africa now? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, but like I said, this is a deeper combo. You said there's people in Africa pra practicing Western ideology. It's like what you're negating. What you're negating. You're negating the evolution of the world. You're, you're negating the evolution of how times have moved on. You're, some things, some some things are impacted based on those those circumstances. It's not a base of okay. Everyone's brainwashed. Everybody in Africa is practicing. Christianity or Islam because they all just kind of bring what the Western people have told us to do it. That doesn't make, make, make no sense. I didn't say they're practicing, they are practicing Western culture, but what I said is that they're practicing a Western idea of African spirituality where it's all about magic. It's all about power over outside <laughs> things. By, by doing this thing, I have power over somebody. By doing this thing, I can I can make more money by doing this ritual. I'm gonna make myself protected. All these uh, magic tricks. Now this isn't African spirituality. This is a degraded 
idea of what it is. It's the same. It's the spookism. This is what I'm saying. Originally, for us, it was just science, but we was taught it was all ghosts and shit. So no, we've bro, actually been. No. It's not Even science now. when it's, it's not science. It's not science when I'm growing up and seeing the things I saw. That's not science. Wickedness, man. I've seen it, man. It's wickedness. It's not science, bro. Like no, I come from, a, I come from a village where the thing runs, bro. We got, we got rules like you think it's imposed by the government of don't touch this, don't touch that tree, don't do this. It's wickedness goes on in the village. The village is full of wickedness, like, and I've seen it over and over. I come from it, bro. I'm growing up. So it's like, so when you're saying, oh, the, West, the Western ideology of magic, what people have chosen to take in, no, bro, it's not. You've got to go back home. People are getting killed back there, off the back of this thing. So this is what I'm saying, yeah? You were talking to the other guy, yeah, who was talking about pork. And you were saying, yeah, there's religious reason you're not supposed to eat it. But the basis of that is not some sort of religious spiritual... Uh, you know, there are spiritual reasons, but the basis of it is that physically, health-wise, it's healthier than not. Pork. Essentially, yeah, the habit of not eating pork was based on a science. That dogma that can turn dogma can turn this science later on into it's a thing where, oh, you just don't eat it because you'll get into heaven. But in its outset, this is what you're trying to point out. It's not as simple as this spiritual principle. So similarly, every practice that we're supposed to have when we practice African spirituality is have a scientific, logical foundation. It isn't supposed to be rooted in just a, a, a held belief. It's supposed to be based on an actual real application of science. So when they saw us originally using leaves and burning this and doing it, because a man don't understand it, this looks like a madness, isn't it? And we've even believed that as well. But a lot of the guys practicing right now in Africa, right now, calling themselves witch doctor, convincing the whole village they're witch doctor, they don't have no scientific understanding of the practices they're using. They've just seen other people do it and ladies do it. They don't read. There's no science to it. This is just faith. This is just belief. But like I said, a lot of habits started in a time where there was some sort. They might have been wrong even. How about that? I'll give you a spirituality practiced in Africa now. is this juju. It's black magic. It's demonic shit that you're talking about. Now, if you understand the basis of African spirituality, the principles about how it functions, that shit can't really work. If you understand the pure heart, this is a key, simple principle. It's unavoidable. This is, so this idea of doing demonic work is something that was shown to us because we were taught our thing is demonic. From Islam and Christianity, they came with this teaching. Hold so, on. so these religions had black people, Africans teaching other that your African traditional system is devil worship. It is demon. It is it's fucking everything evil and, and haram. So this conditioning has, has caught on to that. Now you've got an entire continent of African people. When they practice their traditional systems, it's evil. In their mind, they know they're doing bad. So, hold on, tell me, how... Who's there? Hold on, wait there. We've got some idiot in there writing stupid comments. There wasn't in your the diva, Mary. Listen, you've been writing bare comments. I've been ignoring it. All these vics against black people. Are you fucking dumb? How much have you contributed to the black community this year, whoever this person is? What do you do for the black community that you can come and talk to me? Come in there, right? Oh, all these baby mothers are white. I've got one baby mother. This is what I'm saying about you trolls, you little fucking idiot. Don't come on here. People are too much in my life. Fucking low life. Talking about, oh, your yeah, big doesn't care about black people. What are you talking about, bro? Talking about. You born in, born in the West talking about people don't care about black people. Shut your mouth, man. And stop writing comments. You don't know me. Stop writing comments. Yeah? Stop writing comments. You're just being rude now. We're talking about something important. Come in there saying big don't care about black people. You're fucking crazy, man. Go on, bro. Yeah, fam. So, so is what I'm saying is because they make us think our thing has always been even to like what you're saying. Our thing's always been this juju thing. Black man. That's a lie, fam. Our thing was science. We started this shit. But you see the science thing. Understanding. You see the science thing. So check it. When every when religion is quickly because I want there's, there's someone in this chat. I really want to get him on. He's been saying he's been disagreeing over a lot. We've been saying. There's someone there called Justin. Justin, can you please send a request? I just want to have a conversation with you based on your opinions. But quickly, bro, what was on You disagree with me? No, just the whole from the beginning, he's been saying a bunch of stuff. I just want to get, get his perspective on things. I like I like when someone doesn't agree with man. I like, you know, being able to have that dialogue. But I was going to say something quickly. Listen, now I lost my chain of thought. Yeah, cool. 
the whole magic and the stuff you're talking about, like the whole magical element of it. You see, like when the prophets are brought down, like when the prophets are bestowed or ordained or whatever not, they normally have the strength of what's going on at that time. So if you go back and look at this, like this Moses, we all know the story of Moses, right? We all know the story of Moses now. In what, how did you, how can I put it? I don't, I really want to get into this another time and break that down properly. The whole idea of Moses, Moses with Pharaoh, the magic and this, that, and the other. So, in your opinion, would you say that's, that was part of the science as well? Well, understand scripture, yeah? The way I'm understanding it and the way I'm telling you it originally was, but I know you're going to disagree. Scripture is metaphors to explain spiritual uh, scientific principles, the actual reality so, principles. Scripture is based on parables, basically. You're saying it's based on parables. Not even that it's based on parables. The, the point of the story is to give you a metaphorical understanding of a principle. A principle isn't a thing. It's a concept. So they tell you this concept through this metaphor of a story. Yeah, And this is, our, this is how we taught science. This is why it got so confused. Because our mindset taught us that the way humans are, think about it. If you leave a human in a room for 30 days on his own, he's going to name the shit in the room. He's going to start having relationships. We see things like a living thing sees things. We, we put, you know, you give your car a name. You get mad at the fucking cushion for dropping off the table. Dumb cushion. Now, how's a cushion dumb? It's the way we see things. So they understood the true language for a human to understand a concept is to explain it with personifications, with characters and characteristics. Rather than say there's a rule of gravity, there's this thing called gravity. It pulls you mm -hmm. down. They describe it by a character. They will, they will call the, the person gravity. And the reason being because gravity doesn't act the same in every situation. Depending on the context, gravity has a different amount of force on the context. Just like a person. I'm always me. But when I'm talking to you, I talk a certain way. I talk to my mom, I talk a certain way. It's different. But it's both times it's me. So they understood this is the value because it doesn't restrict things. When you, when you explain a principle with a word, you're defined by that word and how that word is interpreted. And the problem with that, if you ever text someone, they can misunderstand what you said to them, even though the words mean exactly what you said they mean. They can also mean what he thinks they mean. It's the problem mm. with the word. So you've got to explain these principles in a way that humans can understand. And we will name gravity and say, yeah, gravity, when it's, when it's on that planet, he's super strong. And when he's on that planet, he's super weak because he had a beef with that planet and that made him weak. And they, you understand? But really, all he's describing is a simple fact. All that, is, all that is being explained is a bigger planet has more gravity. So for that Moses, so long and short of that Moses story leading them out, this is, this is, this is just the story of uh, another way of ascending, another ascension story. The whole 40 days of 40 nights struggling, going in the right direction, God showing you, you know, a crossroad situation. This story is told many times in many ways. It's the principles behind the story. Having faith, having to be strong, uh, looking to the, the God, which is just another way of looking to the truth to find your way, you have to stand in the right. It's just a metaphor to give you certain understandings to imply. It's not about it actually happened. Yeah? This is my view on it. It never happened. Yeah? Moses <laughs> never came. The Jews did not build the pyramids. That's another lie. The Jews weren't even around when so, the pyramids were built. Have you been to, been to Egypt before? No. Nah. Uh, take a trip, and then we'll have that conversation again. That the Jews built the pyramids. No, I got the pyramids. I think it's just about the Moses, the Ulada. Take a trip to Egypt. You like why, studying. Explain to me why is that going to fix? Why is that going to change or fix what I'm saying to you now? So you I've heard you've actually gone to Egypt. Everything you're saying is bullshit. It doesn't. You, you can't prove anything. So if I go to Egypt and I come back in a week, now everything I'm saying is true. No, we have to have a different conversation. But you will see some stuff that's gonna help you. The internet what? is in. It doesn't need to work like that. If there's some stuff there that proves me wrong, and you're very aware of it, you could tell me now, and that should prove me wrong. It's done. I hear you, but again, like I said, that's the beauty of opinions, isn't it? Like based on what you just said, religion, like religion, don't exist. And that's again, you know this for me. That's something I will never subscribe to. The idea of what that that is just is science, it's all <laughs> parables, that Moses, Moses didn't exist, Moses didn't exist, it's just some story. Like, you know, I'm not going to subscribe to that. You know that already. I'll, I'll listen, but you know, I'm never going to subscribe to that.
So for you, Adam and Eve is a physical event. Adam and Eve. No, let's not get into that. Don't do that because there's so much ignorant people in it today. Don't do that. <laughs> Example of how the scriptures are not telling you historical fact in every in every incident. In particular, the Jews didn't build the pyramids. Uh, if you don't want to agree with nothing else, I'm just going to put that out there so everyone understands. The Jews didn't build the pyramids. Slaves. How about that? Slaves didn't build the pyramids. On top of that. Okay, but, but look at this. You know what the problem is. You know what the problem is. Look at the kind of educational conversation we're having. I'm going to flag someone else. But I'm going to be coming up like it. Somebody else, bro. Why does Vic even have the right to speak about this? Who of smokes weed? He's covering and living with a woman he's not married to, and he's wearing horse hair. So let me just break this person down. You see me? I'm like top five. No, I'm like top three most disrespectful people in the world. So let me just tell you everything you said was bullshit. Somebody said you don't have the right to speak about this. What? I don't have the right to ask a question about religion. Yeah? Shut your mouth. So all, all your children are wedlock. I bet your mom was not married when she had you and your siblings, whoever you are. Yeah? So shut your mouth again. He sells a smoke weed. I don't sell weed, by the way, whoever this is. I can show you my bank balance right now. Yeah, I'm very wealthy. I don't sell weed. So whoever told you that? Someone said he's coming and living with a woman he's not married to. Bro, what, I, what, have you got a camera in my house? Are you watching my house? You little low life. Someone says he's wearing horse head. Definitely not horse head. Definitely not horse head. Definitely not horse head. So this is another example when we're trying to depart knowledge and you get dickheads and idiots like this. I bet this person talking to me, yeah? If it, you're, whatever you've done in your life, whatever points you're putting on the board, I know you're unsuccessful because you've got this type of mentality to come here in the midst of this type of conversation and talk shit. You probably ain't got 5% in your bank account what I've got. You probably ain't done 10% of what I've done. Come in and trying to cause judgment. I'm never going to remove you from this life. I'm going to leave you there so you can learn something. You get what I'm trying to say to you. Don't play with me. I'm the wrong one. Yeah? Anyway, carry on, bro. Yeah, I say block them, man, there, Carl. You can't... No, win, no, 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 I don't block them no more. No, I don't block them no more because it's bullshit. It's bullshit. They all come... They, you see what everybody does? Everybody does this. Oh, why is Vic speaking up and stuff? Why is he taking up community issues? His kids are mixed race. It's like, so what, man? So what? I beat you and your dad up and all your older brothers. Furthermore, buy your mom's yeah. house. Fuck off. You get what I'm trying to say to you? Wherever, wherever you live, I've got that in Jewelry. Dickhead. Coming and talking, talking shit. Anyways, bro. But listen, let's let's get on another day on the... On the... um. Yep. Africa's free trying Let me get well, this Justin. You... Let me get Justin on. Let me get Justin on and see because he's got a lot of strong opinions and I really want to hear what he's got to say. What I would ask though is in the meantime, yeah, that that evidence that I would have seen if I went to Egypt, yeah, can you I'll just bring you. it for me and done? I'm gonna shout. Uh, uh, I don't know, bro. Uh,